you clicked on this video to learn how to stop making bad iPhone videos. You don't have a fancy camera to make high quality content. Well, the truth is you don't really need one. And to prove my point, I will be making this entire video using my iPhone. There are five tips I'll be teaching in this video today. If you follow just one of these tips, you'll see a dramatic increase in your video's quality. Now, imagine if you follow all of them. We often think our videos will be good if we film ourselves at eye level, like a tourist ad taking pictures of nature. What you need to do instead is take your audience out of the world that they are in. Get close to your subject, get far from your subject, get your subject from below or even film them from above. We often see shaky videos and those can be hard to watch. I for one get headaches whenever I watch those kind of videos. But if you get a tripod, you can place your camera on top of it and then place the tripod anywhere you want and your video will be absolutely still. And if you get creative, you can even get fancy with your tripod shots. Dude, what are you doing? What do you mean? Ya te dije que no estoy quería aquí, que estuvieras no, aquí. ¿Por qué te decís? haces aquí? No, ah, estoy aquí. Ah, estoy ahora aquí. tengo que hacer el video estoy de nuevo. Si you want stable video while moving, you can try bringing your elbows close to your body and taking smaller, shorter steps. I recommend using a gimbal stabilizer. This will make it a lot easier for you and you'll spend less time thinking of ways to stabilize your video. DJI makes a really good gimbal stabilizer and it's super easy to use. All you have to do is put your phone into the phone holder, turn it on, and you're done. If you don't want to give off creepy internet vibes, buy a light or use the tools that you have like natural light, like the sun or just lights that you have laying around your house. You can improve your lighting by keeping your light at a 45 degree angle to the camera and then slightly raised above your subject. This will help cast friendly shadows to the face and add a little bit of depth to the video. A good light to start out with is a ring light. Here I have a newer ring light. It is very, very powerful and um, yeah, it is really bright. Anyway, links in are in the description for all of the products you see in these videos. Oh my. If you're at home watching Netflix, it's the end of the day, you worked a ton, you're tired and you just wanna watch Netflix and your Wi-Fi goes out. Well, the first thing you're gonna notice is that your video quality is gonna drop instantly. And then your video is gonna freeze completely. It will not, however, first drop the audio quality. And that's because your audio quality is way more important than your video quality. So if you're thinking about buying either a camera or a microphone, first invest in the microphone. Here I am talking with a microphone. Here I am talking without a microphone. A great microphone to start out with is a lavalier mic or a lav mic. These are super easy because all you have to do is just clip it to your shirt and you're ready to go. Leave your creative comfort zone and stop filming like a tourist dad. With the phone you have in your pocket, you not only have more power than the computer that sent the first rocket to space, you have the ability to tell the best stories known to man. Now you must be thinking, what next? You have all of these clips that you just filmed what are you going to do now? Well, watch this video right here to learn how you can edit all of them using iMovie. 